Hey guys, welcome to another video review brought to you by buymeaniphone.com. Today guys, I have another video review lined up for you and this is a product that was sent to me by Ballistic. It is the iPhone 4 Ballistic HC Hardcore case, okay guys? And this is a really awesome case. Like the title goes, it is a hardcore case. There's only a few other cases in the market that are similar to this one. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the close-up details of this and tell you my experience and how it's been with uh, testing and using the Ballistic HC Hardcore case, okay? So let's go ahead and switch over to the close-up camera and let's do that now. Okay guys, so here we have the, this is the packaging that they actually sent to me from Ballistic. Now I don't think this is the actual packaging that comes with the phone, or the phone, the case when you purchase it off the website. I just wanted to show it to you guys anyways though, because it was something kind of cool they sent out to me. It's probably, I think they only send this to reviewers whenever, or the, like different members of the press when they get a sample of the Ballistic case. It's basically like a cooler. When you pop it open, you got like a chrome little packaging here. And here is the case. So, let's put this box to the side. Like I said, I do not believe this is what comes with it when you order it. I, I highly doubt that it is. Here's the actual phone right here. Yeah, I'm sorry, the actual case. Now, guys, you may be familiar with a lot of different uh, cases in the market. There's a couple of them out there that are really similar to this. Maybe some of the ones that come to your mind are like the OtterBox Defender. Uh, Cydio has like a tough case. So this is in, in that type of ranks of that really tough, rugged, hardcore case, which is what this is called, the Ballistic HC Hardcore. So let me go ahead and take off all the pieces and show you kind of what comes with this and what you know what equals or what compiles to this actual case. So I'll peel everything off here. So here we have the actual case, and this is a plastic case that has uh, rubber infused elements on it. Okay, so unlike some of the other cases, which is like a plastic case with a piece of silicone wrapped around it with, with another piece of silicone, this is actually the case right here. Okay, so it's plastic and there's lots of rubber rubberized corner pieces. If you were to use it just by itself like this, this is very rugged and, and really 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 uh, hardcore if you will it has a built-in screen protector and nothing too crazy it's basically like a little bit thicker than the film that you probably put on the screen of your iPhone as it is normally and the really thing, the cool thing I noticed about this is that it's very difficult to pop open unless you unless you do it the right way so if you notice here on the slide there's like a slot right here if you take a coin which I have right here take a coin you pop it into the corner and you twist it up a little bit there you go it pops it open and it comes apart okay so even on the inside, you'll see there's like a rubber track in, on the inside here, so it won't scratch the back of your phone up, which is very important because that back, that glass back, you don't want to get that scratched up. And the inside part here has a lot of rubberized areas as well. And even the uh, the home button here has a little rubber button, so it's not like any hard plastic pieces that might be rubbed up against your your phone. So that's that right there. Let's go ahead and pop in the phone, and so I can show you guys basically how the controls and everything work. So you just slide into place very carefully and I'm actually I actually have a screen protector on my phone as it is and even with that screen protector on it's a really thin one but it's an anti-glare even with that screen protector in this screen protector on top of it it still functions perfectly normal of course if you don't want to if you don't have a screen protector on your phone that's even probably even better but just for those I know there's some of you guys out there that are really in love with your screen protectors and you don't want to peel it off just to use a case for a little bit um, for me I didn't have to take the case, the screen protector off you can keep it on there probably not recommended but that's what I did okay so there it snapped onto place very easy to put together like that, no problem at all. It adds a, uh, quite a little bit of bulk on it when it on, with the case is on your on your phone, just because you know there's all these rubberized raised areas on it. So now what you have in here, you pop this piece into the other part, the other silicone part, and now this is when it gets a little more hardcore here. So you wrap it onto here. Obviously, when you're doing this, this adds a little bit of bulk to your phone, quite a bit of bulk, I would say. And like I said, the silicone, the silicone, this is really nice and soft. It's nothing. It's nothing that, that's really uh, sticky or cheap feeling. It does uh, attract a little bit of lint, but if you use the built the uh, the holster, you won't be in your pocket, so you won't have to worry about lint very much. So you have this here with the sl the jacket on top of that. Then that goes face first into the the clip right here. And that pops into the clip. This is a really good clip. If you can see here, it actually has like a little nice little hook on the bottom there. So uh, there may be at times where it's hard to take it off your belt, but, just, but that's probably a good thing because you don't want it accidentally to slide off of your belt because it hooks onto there. Really good clip, and this is a uh, snappable, rotate to different directions. So it goes to there, stops right there, straight, and the other way as well. So you can carry it sideways if you want, which is a little awkward because it's not in the center; it's more towards the top. So doing it sideways is a little weird. Most of the time I just kept it like this, okay? And when you want to take it off, all you gotta do is lift up the front and pop it off, and there you go, you have the case. Now the one thing, uh, the one negative that I did find about this that I think may be a problem or an issue you may run into if you use this a lot, is, uh, let me show you here, when you pop it into there, so see how it kind of snaps into that, that front piece right there? There may be at times when you're trying to pop this out that you'll notice that the, and I'm not sure if you can see it right there, let me see if I can, if I can pull it up. So when you pull up on it, 
See that that edge right here? That's actually the part of this of the the top piece that that snaps onto place. So the more this clip pulls on that, I'm not sure if it'll eventually wear that down a bit to where it might uh, it might mess that up and not hold as well. You see how it's kind of pulling up on there? So the more you snap on that, I'm thinking the more the more loose it may get. I really don't know for sure, but it's just something I noticed and I, I kept I mean I kept noticing when I was using it on and off. One thing to consider. So let me go ahead and show you guys all the accessibility when it comes to having the the big sleeve, the big big rubber piece on there, and then without that. So when it's on there, the top button is being covered up, standby switch. It has a rubberized button right there, and the new version of this is going to have a plug that covers up the uh, the headphone jack as well. But this one does not have that yet. On the side, we have our silent switches being covered up with the rubber here, and the uh, the volume up and down buttons are being covered up with the inside the inner part of the case with uh, rubberized buttons right here. Go to the very bottom. There is a little cover for the dock right here, dock connector, and you have your microphone and your speaker. Both of them are completely open. Nothing's been covering them up or anything at all. So when you dock, you do have to flip this up, or when you pop in your your card, your uh, sim, your syncing cord or charging cord, you have to lift this up. Home button is covered up, and there's a little rubber nub right there on that as well. When you go to the top, we do have the uh, the front-facing camera, which is not blocked. It lines up really well, and the ambient light sensor is not being impeded or anything by the by the, the clear plastic piece right there. And that's pretty much it. There is quite a bit of a lip on the edge there when you're using it to type and that type of thing, but eh, you eventually gotta get used to that. So let's go ahead and peel this piece off and let me show you everything without that. Okay? So when we take that off, it's it's a little bit easier to get to all the different features and different parts of the phone as well. So the standby switch, the front, everything's still being covered up. A little less bulky, no cover right there, no cover on the top as well. The back camera, that the flash, uh, sometimes I did notice that. Um, depending on how you take the pictures, the flash doesn't really cause so many problems. I know some cases are having some issues with that. I didn't really experience any kind of weird, weird haziness when I took pictures with one of those cases on it. Now, when you have it with this one on here, it adds a little bit extra uh, depth to it, a little bit extra bulk. So, I mean, you need to make sure when you snap it on that this is nice and snug because if this if this is moving around a little bit in your pocket or whatever, it may be times when they, it may the flash may bounce off of that black right there. But for the overall most part, it doesn't really affect it at all. So guys, oh, I'm sorry. So here we have the case right here. So overall, guys, I really like this case. I think this is probably something for those of you guys that are maybe uh, maybe have one of those rough and tumble type of jobs when you need a, a really good case to protect your iPhone. If you're the type of person that's always dropping your phone, I definitely recommend this for you guys. This retails for $49.99, so I think it's reasonably priced as well, especially for the holster and all the pieces you get. Um, I would definitely recommend this at that price point. So that's pretty much it for me today, guys. If you own this phone, why don't you go ahead and leave a comment and tell us what you think about it. And uh, put, go ahead and do that if you're watching this on buymeaniphone.com or if you're watching this on YouTube, okay? So that's going to be it for me today, guys. I'll see you guys in the next review. Talk to you later.